We have all seen the announcement by now of Shrek coming out in 2026, but what should we expect from the Shrek sequel? Okay, um, ogres are like onions. <laughs> they stink? Yeah. The main thing that we should be expecting is the main cast coming back and there has been an announcement saying that the main three are coming back, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy and Mike Myers are all reprising their roles in this upcoming sequel. But nothing has yet been said about Antonio Banderas and whether he will reprise his role as Puss in Boots at this moment in time, in which is pretty odd because he had the Puss in Boots sequel very recently and it is thought that you would have had him in this movie or are they trying to keep a lot of the plot under wraps and maybe he's part of that plot line and a big part of that, who knows? But that is something that we definitely know at this moment in time and something else that we definitely know at this time and what we expect is the movie coming out on the 1st of July 2026 in which would mark the 25th anniversary of the Shrek franchise of the first movie coming out in 2001. Before we jump back into this video guys please do us a massive favour and smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss a thing this week next week and the week after because we've got tons and tons of content planned for you guys and you can do us a massive favor by smashing that subscribe button joining the community getting updates to all the latest videos from the youtube shorts to the actual videos it is well worth it completely free and you will not regret it is this a standalone return or can we expect more from the shrek universe shrek could you do that ogre roar of yours for my son do the roar from what we can gather and from what eddie murphy has said it is clear to us now that there's going to be more than what meets the eye. It's not just a Shrek 5 movie. There's going to be more to come, including a Donkey spin-off. As Eddie Murphy was talking on an interview promoting his new film, his new Beverly Hills film, he talked about the fact that they've been recording Shrek 5 for a good four or, four or five months now, and that he's got another part of that to do later on in the year. But then there's talk that DreamWorks want to do a donkey spin-off movie and that's what he was told and he announced that on the interview. So hopefully all goes well. We could be expecting not just one but also two movies coming into the Shrek universe. What are my opinions on this Shrek 5 and a potential donkey spin-off? Could you not be yourself for five minutes? For me, I think it's exciting, bringing back excitement for the DreamWorks franchise. And a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have said this, but I think now looking at it from a different angle, you can see that DreamWorks has been crap for the past few years. And to bring back one of your most iconic franchises and not a spin-off of it is something where you can actually see DreamWorks grow on from this point on and be a, a good old stepping stone in the right direction. As you can definitely see, watch what dreamworks are trying to do what they're trying to achieve because obviously they want to put money back into the company which has lost a few eyes recently and lost a bit of interest because disney's been doing what they've been doing they've been magnificent but even disney now are starting to drop off and dreamworks might be seeing that gap where they can maybe put out a few more sequels because if you look at the recent movies that dreamworks has been pumping out kung fu panda 4 they did the puss in boots uh, 2 either last year or the year before that they're clearly showing what their plan is, trying to create more sequels and prequels and the rest of it and create these into more iconic franchises. And you can clearly see that what they're trying to do. So maybe a Madagascar 4 might be on the occasion as well, bringing back these iconic franchises. But I'm all for this because I think having 10 years off or having so many years, I think it was like 14 years since the last one came out, the fact that they've left a gap Leaving a gap opens up new avenues. Leaving a gap makes the plot better and makes it so that they've rectified it. They've double checked it. They've put it aside. They picked it back up again and then started writing because there's been rumors since 2010, since the last film came out, that they were going to do a Shrek 5. And now it's here and now we can see it on the horizon. It's clear to me that they've spent so long over 10 years developing this plot to make it the best it possibly can be. Most importantly, what are your thoughts on this new Shrek film? Are you excited? Is it something that you don't want to see? Is it something that you're really, really wanting to see? Let us know all that down in the comments down below. And if you're still thinking, I fancy some more animation videos, check out our review on Trolls Now, where we take a look at the Trolls movie in 2016 and discover whether this is a good film or a bad one.